Would an extra million dollars change your life? You could probably buy a brand new house or maybe help out your family. So how much extra money would you have to earn in order to become a millionaire, in order to change your life? Let's find out. It's not $100,000 extra a year. It's not even $50,000 extra a year. It is just $27,000 extra each year. And I'm gonna show you how to get there. First, let's take a look at the math. If you were to earn $27,000 extra each year, you then would need to put that money into an index fund so that it could grow. And one of the best ones, in my opinion, is VTI, which is a total market index ETF, and this is the performance over the last five years. So let's say we earn 10% on average on our index fund each year. After about 16 years of investing that extra 27,000 a year, you would have accumulated over $1 million. This is the power of compound interest in the stock market. Now this year, the stock market has been taking a beating, right? We're in a bear market, everyone understands that. A lot of people are getting scared and they're pulling their money out and they're running. But this is like a Black Friday sale. Everything's 30, 40% off. Your favorite companies, Microsoft, you like Microsoft? You think Apple will be here in the next few years? What about Meta? What about Tesla? Do you think those companies will be here 10 years from now? If so, they're 30 to 40% off and you should be buying them. Many people don't agree with this because they think they can time the next bull market. But you can't, I can't. You can't, the experts can't, nobody can time the next bull market. And if you're waiting for when the market starts to go up, by the time you realize that the market is actually going up, it's not a bull trap, it is actually going up. And we are in a bull market, when you make that realization, it's too late. You've already missed out on a large portion of the gains. And in this path to hitting a million dollars, it doesn't matter what your salary is right now. You could earn 35,000 a year. Right now, if you're earning 30, 35,000 a year, you still need 27,000 more. If you're making $100,000 a year, you still need $27,000 more. That money, that's money you don't touch. That's money that goes straight into the index fund. So the real question becomes, how are you gonna make an extra 27,000 a year? Let's say you're a government employee. If you're a government employee, $27,000 a year is only two GS grades. That's all it is, it's just two grades. For example, a GS-11 Step 1 earns 74,000 a year, and a GS-13 Step 1 earns 106,000 a year. That's over $27,000 a year. That is a $31,000 a year difference. So how can someone move from GS-11 to GS-13? Well, if they're in a ladder position, it will happen after two years. As long as you have acceptable performance, as long as your supervisor is happy with you, it will happen after two years. If it's not, you will have to apply to other job announcements, whether that's inside of your office or agency or outside. If you're not a government employee, the best way to increase your salary is by switching jobs. This is usually better than staying at the same job for 10 years, getting incremental, small, little raises each and every year. Once you switch a job, usually you're able to earn at least 10 or 20% more than at your previous job. But remember, if you start seeing $25,000 to $30,000 extra a year, most of us have a hard time with saving it or investing it. Most of us will just increase our lifestyle, right? Instead of driving a Corolla, you'll probably decide, you know what, I can afford a BMW. You know what, maybe I'll get a Mercedes. You need to get away from that type of thinking. That type of thinking will prevent you from being a millionaire. And there's many of us that cannot keep savings at all. The money just falls through our fingers like water. And some sources show that over half of Americans could not even afford a $1,000 emergency with their savings today. For most of us, the more we make, the more we spend. We feel like we deserve it. We should treat ourselves. This could be a new car, maybe a nicer apartment or a house. When we fall into this trap, we limit ourselves. We're never able to actually grow and accumulate wealth. Understanding this, you probably should set up an automatic withdrawal from your account to the investing account. Every paycheck, whatever percent needs to come out and automatically invest so you don't see it. That way you are truly paying yourself first. Think in the future. In 16 years from now, you will have a million dollars in your account. And that might not seem like a lot of money, especially with inflation, but right now in the United States, only 9% of people have a million dollars. You will be part of that number. Put the money in an index fund. 
Okay, now if you're interested in getting a federal government job, but you don't think the salary is gonna meet your expectations, you want a six-figure salary. In fact, you wanna earn at least 130,000 a year. Well, if you like the sound of that, I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.